IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. And I'm Gino Cardosi. And I'm Brooke Arrington. Well, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. IHHS recently presented senior Jude Jamison with the Nas National Honor Society Scholarship. Congratulations, Jude. The BattleBots team is headed to Scarlet Oaks today to partake in glorious combat. Best of luck to Sophia Buffetta, Yvette Detwather, Lillian Liu, Aaron Scott, Isaac Scott, Jess Shea, Nicole Sitchell, and Isabel Tyndale. The annual Experience Ships Expo is coming up on March the 12th. Check out this clip from last year's expo. Tonight is an event three years in the making where we are going to officially launch to our community our Indian Hale Experience Ships program. Transformational opportunities where students get hands-on, real-life learning experiences outside of the classroom, connected with business partners all over the region. We have about 20 to 25 business partners down in our gym, set up like a huge college fair. The goal is for them to truly pursue their passions with a focus that they get to start thinking about right now in high school and don't have to wait to the next level to start investigating what am I curious about? What are my passions? And how do we do that for them right now? Experience ship is just our word for a career experience that is a little bit of everything. We want to offer internships, job shadows, project-based learning with partners so that every student in Indian Hill eventually can have some type of experience ship. I wish I had this type of opportunity when I was in school because it probably would have kept me from changing my major a few different times in college. No one really knows exactly what they want to do, but by going in and experiencing different opportunities, different avenues, and being able to say, you know, this kind of interests me, or nope, I'm going to check this one off the list, it really helps as they go further into their career. Our dream, one day, Indian Hill Experience Ships is simply what we do. Not a plus, not an episodic experience, but something that every single brave will have an opportunity to do for years to come. If you're interested, you can RSVP for this event with the QR code right there. The annual Exploring with Grace 5K is coming up soon. They are looking for volunteers to help with race setup and teardown. If you're interested in volunteering, you can sign up using the Google form in the description below. Winter sports have come to a close. Let's throw it over to Gabe and Tyler for the final recap of this season. Hello, Braves and welcome to this week's sports report. I'm Tyler Huang. And I'm Gabe Tassi. Winter sports have come to a close, so let's recap our exciting seasons. Starting off with the boys basketball, they had a memorable season, but lost to Baden High School in the first round of the playoffs. Congratulations to our CHL award winners, CJ Hayden, Zach Jones, John Potagio, William Bennett, and Eli Riggs. The girls team won some CHL awards as well. Congrats to Caroline Langworthy, Brooke Arrington, Dakota Spurrier, Stella Bosley, and Cam Jones. Swim and dive ended their season on a high with a strong showing at the state tournament. In swimming, the boys finished fifth, and the girls were ninth overall. Argent V achieved third place in the 500 and the 200 meter freestyle. We'd also like to extend our congratulations to Jeffrey Wanker, Gabby Hens, and Marina Oria. Way to go, Braves. Diving also had a strong showing, with Marisol Mason placing 17th, and Josie Festa taking fourth in the state. Our wrestling team delivered an impressive performance at the D2 Southwest Ohio sectional, securing third place and advancing seven wrestlers to the finals. In bowling, four braids were named for the 2024 OCHL Conference. Congratulations to Noah Kaufman, Chase Rove, Miranda Aldis, and Sydney Sawyer. The indoor track team is headed to the Spire Institute in Geneva, Ohio to compete in the indoor state meet. Best of luck to Harry Hong, RJ Poffenberger, Pratt Gibson, Miles Taylor, John Potagil, Jack Gerber, and Ogis Chadwell. Also in sports, Noah Fraser announced that he'll be continuing his academic and athletic career at DePaul University. Congratulations, Noah. Are you interested in meeting our new volleyball program director and our staff? If so, join us on Wednesday, March 6th at 6.30 in the high school gymnasium. Miss Angel Miller L. will be introduced and speak to those in attendance. Welcome aboard. Well, Braves, that's all the sports we have for this week. I'm Gabe Tassi. And I'm Tyler Huang. We'll send it back to you at the desk. Thanks, Gabe and Tyler. Can't wait to see what spring sports has in store for us. We've had a lot of new courses coming for next year. And this week, Micah sat down with Coach Hill and Mr. Abrams to talk about the upcoming computer science course. 
What's up, Braves? I'm here with Coach Hill and Mr. Abrams to talk about their upcoming new class, Computer Science. Guys, can you each tell the students why you would recommend taking your Computer Science class? Uh, the class is designed to uh, give students an opportunity to explore in spaces that we can't kind of give an a, a all-inclusive kind of space um, for multiple students, so it gives its students the opportunity to follow in whatever path they, desi they desire. Like if they want to get credentials in Python or in Java, uh, if they want to do video game design, or if they want to talk about AI and machine learning, those are opportunities for all of them to do. Um, and the state of Ohio is starting to infuse a lot of money into <coughs> high schools and to college scholarships that have um, uh, that are fully, uh, it's just about computer science. It, it, it's fully funded for computer science students and we want to give our students the opportunity um, at those scholarships. To get to take computer science pro and um, able to get credentials, I mean it's, it's just a second to none program. Mr. Abrams, what are some projects that students can look forward to completing while in your class? Talking about it, kind of an individual pace where students get to pick and choose kind of of their uh, what they think or what they they currently are already currently working on. So there are yeah. students who already like at home after school in their own spare time kind of dabble and tinkle and doing that. What we're trying to do is give them the opportunity and space to work on those projects in school, um, have an impact on school, but then also get um, high school credit and oppor many opportunities and many things that we have, college credit, and then also um, professional credentialing that then you can put on your resume. It's kind, of, um, it's kind of that stamp that kind of differentiates yourself in a different way than others. Um, some of those being programs through language, some of those being specific design, whether it's app design, we're talking about Swift or building an Android. Like We are really open and going out and trying to create a pool of things that like multiple students want to do and not just one kind of area that would be a focus. That sounds great. Coach Hill, I'm sure most students know you as the head boys varsity basketball coach here at Indian Hill. How did you become interested in the computer science field? Uh, the, I, I came from Warner Hills High School and teaching um, a course called Web Design and Fundamentals um, where the students got a, a real basic foundation in Java, the Java language, um, which is a huge part of computer science. So after learning that and doing that for several years um, and then with the state um, being so huge now in computer science, it was just a no-brainer for me. Sounds like a great class to take. Here is Mr. Johnson with his message of the week. Roll the clip. What's up, Braves? Here are your two words for the week. All in. What does it mean to be all in? It's when you decide to put your whole heart and your mind into the things that you're doing. Your hobbies, strengthening your friendships, or maybe focusing on your learning. When you're all in, you're passionate about the work that you're doing. And you're ready to keep going even when things get tough. When you're all in, it's not about running from challenges. You're not running from pressure. It means that you're okay with making mistakes and accepting that messing up is indeed the recipe for learning how to get better. But here's the key. Making mistakes without time to reflect is an absolute waste. All in requires us to make time to rest, relax, and reflect. Now let's be real. You can't be all in with everything that you touch, you see, or you do. It's impossible. All in is about balancing and prioritizing commitments. When you decide to do something, give it your all. But be smart about what you choose to commit to. Don't take on so much that you can't do anything well. Leaders, they think ahead and then make sure that they have the time, the skills, and the energy to do what they've promised. That's your two-word message for the week. Go Braves. Thanks, Mr. Johnson, for that tip. Now, let's recognize our February Super Braves, shown here. And the Super Brave winner for February is Cody Goldstone. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. We have one more story. Recently, the Hill and uh, us entered into a bit of a friendly rivalry, and they wrote uh, a piece on us about, called, Is Braves Beat Still Relevant? Uh, yeah. Picture this, Braves Beat bursts onto the screens every Friday, if your teacher even plays it, like a hyperactive squirrel on a caffeine binge run by the self-appointed jokesters of the school. It's a hot mess of flashy graphics, awkward interviews, and more jump cuts than a botched surgery. Well, we had a bit of a response to that, so roll the clip. All right, I'm here with Patrick uh, Langworthy. Patrick, do you read The Hill? 
Um, I usually read it when I'm waiting for a ride or, you know, I just take the, the copy outside there. I, I kind of skim through it. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Andrew, do you read The Hill? No. Is that it? Okay, Miranda, do you read The Hill? Um, occasionally. Normally when my friends ask me to who are on The Hill. So, so you are forced to read The Hill? Um, maybe. <laughs> All right, thank you. Remy, do you read The Hill? I do not. Cameron, do you even know what The Hill is? No. All right, Mr. Pepper, do you read The Hill? I do not. <laughs> Any of you read The Hill? No. Robert, do you read The Hill? Do either of you read The Hill? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> right here, my colleague for the week, Charlie. Charlie, do you read The Hill? Absolutely not. Look at this stack of hills. So fresh. So unread. If you want to read the rest of the article, it'll be in the hill for this month. It's pretty wild. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. hill.